All right, guys, brand new limitless build. Hopefully, today something good happens here because the last time we had a brand new limitless build and uh, we crashed it. So, GPS works, track start. I did the setup as good as I could on the bench, and hopefully, it translates on the runway. First time hitting the asphalt, let's see what happens. Car was very straight, very stable. Stop, read. 162 162 miles an hour very very happy when it comes to amps 448 amps that's a really, really good sign it means that we can increase and we can increase a lot okay so this one is a bit different last time we did 191 miles an hour with the world record body we changed the body to an fc we put the perfect pass anodized aluminum body mounts and the v2 for the bat wing and we geared it up one tooth gps works track start yeah, a little bit of a trim issue so windy man yeah well pretty planted though yeah stop read 193 nice interesting nice. We're gonna probably gear up one more teeth. We're gonna pull the logs and see exactly what the car wants from us. And then, um, then we're going to try it again. I'll hopefully push uh, maybe like a 195 today. Okay, so we did 193. I geared up one tooth. So now it's either we're gonna see a big kaboom or we're gonna see a really nice number. I'm hoping for like a 195, 196 works track start all right coolio hold on the front first because i wanted to see it in pressure yep beautiful 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 yes Nice one, and let's clean the side a little bit. So windy, man. It's pushing the car. Yeah, it's super, super tough driving today because it's so windy. But uh, the battery is definitely doing what it's supposed to do. Hold on. Trying to at least help us a little bit with that wind. I'll try and seal the car as best as I can. Just because it's so windy, and the biggest problem is that the wind is coming from the side, so it's definitely not help us. It definitely doesn't help. But for whatever it's worth, let's see what happens. Hopefully, if it doesn't burn, we're gonna see 195. 196, 197, something like that. Man, it's so windy. So windy. All right, anyway. Let's give it a shot. Hopefully Razi can drive. Cut. Hopefully I can bring it back.
No, I can't see it. It's too far. It was definitely fast. <laughs> it's too far, man. I can't see the car. So let's do it. Yeah, it's somewhere in the center of the drive, uh, the runway. Oh no. The limit is small. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was just so far. You guys can't see it in video, but uh, that's like a half. Oh, it's in the middle. Yeah, it's in the center, but I couldn't see it. It was too far. Oh, I it was the black spot over there. Yeah, exactly. So I turned around and I was like, all right, I'm done. Like, I can't. I'm not seeing it. And I didn't want it to go on the gravel because the car is so clean. Tell you what, though, I'm curious. Uh, oh, we already have Bluetooth. That's good. Stop, read. 196 huh? yeah 196 nice. that's what we figured 196 nice. miles an hour man let's go back though all our stuff is alone there so 196 you hold the car yeah and uh yeah <laughs> let's do it quick <laughs> 196. 196 man let me tell you world's fastest single motor that i've seen now let me uh let me repeat that the yeah that i've seen I've been I've been hearing about some other single motor fast runs. Cars were claiming some of them I highly appreciate and are my friends. So I've heard claims for the world's fastest single motor, but I've never seen one. No. It's always very secret and hidden. So this is in my opinion so far on YouTube the world's the world's fastest single motor 196 miles an hour if you've seen something else please correct me and show me a link but uh, if the car is covered and there is no telling what's in it please don't either say or claim that it's a single motor so 196 man I'm happy that's actually good very happy nice curious to see the, the logs man <laughs> yeah so curious to see the logs dude above 700 of course yeah, yeah. like a 728 something ish like something 720 730 but man let me tell you that's a lot for a single motor that's a lot that's amazing. yeah and again guys out there i appreciate you all a lot of you guys are my friends a lot of amazing drivers and operators and builders this is the world's fastest single motor that i've seen and maybe it will get you guys to um, to actually start sharing a little bit. Also, if you really think about it, man, let's open it up real quick. So let me screenshot it. If you guys really think about it, you guys tell me that I share too much, blah blah blah. What can you possibly see here? Like when I see the when I when I show the car, right? What I mean, what's the secret that I have a motor that the motor is connected to an ESC? I that I have four wheels. I mean, what? I mean, when I show that car on YouTube and you guys tell me that I share too much. First of all, I care about my community a lot. What what do you see here? Like what do you see here that you don't see on, on different like yeah the car have two batteries it does have connectors XNX2 a motor it have shafts like it's it's an RC car like what yeah I mean people understand that all these things are in the car. So back in the shop for a little recap, today was a great day. We had a lot of wind, let me tell you. From the side, 18 mile an hour wind with some gusts. It was actually pretty crazy. Let's recap the two runs so you guys can learn a little bit if you guys are trying to build exactly the same. First, the limit is, oh, I actually didn't tell you. We have new springs that we developed. We've been investing a ton of money for month and month and uh, thousands of dollars. You'll be amazed how much it costs to actually develop so many springs and testing and testing and testing forever. Uh, the different diameter thicknesses, the tempering, the finishes, the materials. Let me tell you, it was uh, quite eventful. But new springs that we've tried this 162 mile an hour uh, run was with those new perfect pass springs. We developed two sections of springs, speed run springs and drag springs. So those were the speed runs springs. Uh, they're both speed run springs. Try saying it three times fast. Uh, these are coming out sometime soon. I just wanted to guys kind of give you a glimpse. You don't need anything when you install those springs. So what I really wanted to accomplish is that you guys will just buy a stock car and we tried it on this one because it's a brand new V2. I didn't even change the diff cases, nothing. So obviously I put my shafts and whatnot, but this is just the normal V2 build. You buy the car, you get it, and you just you don't even open the shocks. No bushings, no spacers, no hidden tricks, nothing. You open the shocks, 
uh sorry don't open this side of here obviously just open this link here change the spring you're done you do your tension and everything this is the setup that i use for this living lesson it worked great and same thing goes to the front it comes as a set rear springs and front springs you just buy it you install it and done you don't have to put any bushings any spacers nothing and it's just perfect it keeps the car exactly in the height that you want and you have exactly the resistance you want for speed and it's actually very very tough to press so uh, we mastered it and soon enough they will be out these are for speedruns and of course we have some for drag by the way we just actually broke the world record with our drag drivers for our spring so this is pretty ex exciting coming out soon as well what else we got here this actually works and it's being proven of course the perfect pass batwing uh v2 very very proven cars were planted we had like 18 like i said 18 mile an hour winds from the side today and the cars were just planted and going on rail so that was pretty cool if you want to build the same this is how everything looks and this is what i have installed here of course i'll just go through it real quick uh perfect pass wing we talked about a perfect pass carbon fiber titanium shafts they're doing their work uh, um amazingly obviously xlx2 monster perfect pass launch control castle creations 2028 1700 for the gears i'm using island hobby nut uh what else gun bananas for the wheels of course some perfect pass carbon fiber pistons and whatnot the batteries are amazing james mccoy and michael did an incredible job those batteries actually did great in this run uh we had a good run you, you guys seen the logs uh, the 8000s are amazing so uh, they did a great job awesome battery 162 and the batteries didn't even flinch so um highly recommended and that's it for the limitless now for this car um same exact situation when it comes to uh, the components that I'm using. Obviously, just a normal chassis on this one. I am using the Perfect Pass side skirts, of course. Using the V2 Batwing, same on this one as well. Car is planted. I'm using the new uh, body mounts, which really, really helps because the body is so straight and so strong on the car. It moves nowhere, so it doesn't actually bend on the wheels. What else we have on this one? We have some Scorch parts as well that are amazing that I love. I love David and I enjoy his company as well. XLX2, 2028, 1700 kV on both of these cars, like I said before. Here I'm using PPS. Some cars I'm using Scorch, but uh, on this one I actually used uh, stock mount and it was fine. Uh, obviously, Monster, Lunge Control, GNSS, you know the drill. Now, on this one I'm using the SRD and they're amazing. Love them. So, I was actually super, super happy today with both of these, the SRDs. And the Onyx, I know they're kind of going, they're like different companies, but uh, hey, I enjoyed both today. So you guys get the truth. It is what it is. I really love both of them. Another thing, a lot of guys tell me, don't show your cars. Why do you share? Guys, there's really nothing to share here. Like it's people, what, what can you learn here that you would not assume that the car will have? Like, yes, it have a motor. It have a motor mount. It has shafts, XLX2. I mean, it's all, everyone pretty much know all the components today. If you see this video and you go out there and try it, it doesn't mean that you're going to go more than 190, you know, it just doesn't. So uh, when it comes to showing, surely I'm not going to show gears, but you can show your guy, your cars, guys. This is, as long as I'm concerned, the world's fastest single motor. Maybe it'll get you guys to actually start showing your cars more. You cannot claim stuff and leave your covers on it's bull come on guys you can't now a lot of you guys out there are good creators good drivers good builders and are my friends also that you all do it good people in the industry good people in the sport and the hobby that are doing it you claim something but you keep your body on and you show nothing well then you can't really claim it so as far as i concern this is the fastest single motor and i'm doing it on purpose i really don't care about the ego i'm not saying this is the world's fastest blah 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 just so people uh give me some cheers and 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 my ego is getting bigger i don't care i really don't i just want you guys to know that if you claim something 3s 4s certain runs dual motor single motor show your cars if you don't want to help the community and you don't want to take the cover off so people can learn and actually enjoy the hobby um like you well then cl don't claim stuff i just think it's unfair uh, a lot of people are out there struggling the least we can do is to actually show them a little bit of the builds let them go through the video let them go through all the components see get some new ideas and um uh, and get better themselves don't forget guys a lot of you say oh i got to where i met myself no one get to where they are your where they're at themselves 
as long as Google and YouTube exist. We all have YouTube, we can see other drivers, we communicate with other drivers, so surely some of us have a talent and some of us don't, that's fine, you know, everyone with their level, but uh, as long as you have Google and as long as you have YouTube, you did not get to where you're at today yourself. Because if you didn't have YouTube or Google, you will not know on certain components that really, really help you to get to your speed. Anyway, I'm Ross Schifrin. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was actually longer than usual, so um, that's good because people ask me for longer videos. That's pretty much it. I really don't know how else I can help you, but uh, I'll just do a lot, another swing at the build, and uh, hopefully this will be good enough. All right, good talk. Hey!